If you love cherry pie like I do, let's make believe and create one that lasts forever. What you'll need to get started is some brown felt in light and dark color of brown. We'll also be using some big pom-poms. That's gonna be the cherries for our pie. We're going to use some craft glue and some glitter pens. And we're basing all of this on a nine inch pie plate. So you'll definitely wanna have one of those. Then for basic supplies, we'll just need scissors, pinking shears, a ruler, pencil, and some clothes pins to hold things in place. So the first thing that you want to do is print out the patterns and then cut them from felt. And each pattern shows how many you need for your pie. So to get started, I've already pinned one piece to my light brown felt, and I'm going to cut it just a half an inch bigger than my pattern. So that's going to create a space here at the top that we can cut into little slits for folding. So we'll cut out our first piece and then cut along the sides of our pattern here. So this will be the top for our pie. And what we'll do is now just make slits evenly spaced along the top. So you're kind of creating a fringe here. This will be for folding our crust. And you can just make your snips all the way across. Now our pie has four pieces, so we're going to cut four tops, four of the bottom piece, four of the inner piece that goes inside the bottom, and we're going to make four of the little wavy crust, and then we'll make eight seeds so that there are two seeds on each piece of pie. So when you're ready to start gluing them together, we'll begin by gluing the inner crust to the bottom. Just add some glue here. And then this will help it stand up. And to really make, really make our crust stand up, we're going to fold this top over our bottom piece. So all those places where the fringes are will get folded down just like a real pipe, just like a real pie crust. So start folding these down. And this is gonna to go to the back. And you just kind of fold each tab so that it's over the next. And this will help it stand up. Now you'll add a closed pin to just hold that in place. And then keep folding and gluing all of your little tabs onto the back. Now, why would you make a fun pie like this? There are all kinds of reasons. You can make it to play with when you're playing pretend. And you know, my kids really love to play pretend restaurant. So we love pie. And that is a good way to do it too. Let's get these pinched down here and then fold and glue. And you're gonna wanna make sure that this dries all the way. All right, let's keep folding and pressing these into place. We're just gonna clip these with our clothes pins and let this dry. Okay, I'm just gonna set this aside, but of course you would wanna glue the rest of your pieces down. Now, now we have a piece here that where it's all been folded and it's completely dry. We have our inner piece inside. Now we're ready to glue our wavy piece to the top of the crust. So we're just gonna add some glue here along the top and then press it onto the crust and that will finish our top crust. We already have a couple of seeds that are glued here onto the top. All right, so that's going to cover up our edge. And remember that this is going to fit directly into our pie plate. So now we have all four pieces and you can fill your pie with these big pom-poms so that you have some cherries inside and you've got something to serve here if you're ready to put it on a plate. You can do that too. And it helps if you get all of your cherries, get your bottom of your pie lined up, and then get your cherries placed into your pie plate as you start to fill it in. And this is a fun way that you can also think about fractions and counting and doing all the fun things that there are to do with pie. Might wanna make a little blackbird too. Now there's also another way that you could cover it if you wanted to make a lattice top. We'll start out with a red piece of felt that we've cut into a circle. Then we're going to layer the pieces across the top. So you're gonna to make a basket weave 
And to do that, you'll just place some strips. These are cut with pinking shears across the top of your pie. And then you can weave other pieces under it, over, and through. So you'll just weave it under, over like that, under, over. And once you've woven your entire top, then you can glue these pieces down to the red and trim them close so that you have something like this. So this piece is a completely, this is already your lattice pie crust, all glued together. And then we've also, you can cut out a piece to cover your edges so that you can cover it like this. And this piece will glue around the edge. Then if you wanted to put this on your pie, you have your lattice pie crust that you can put right over the top. And one more idea is that you can create a fun jar to use your leftover cherries. So to do something like this, all you would do is fill your jar with your pom-poms and then take a piece of fabric and lay the jar lid onto the fabric and then trim around this with pinking shears so that you have your pinked edge. And then you're going to just trim about an inch away. And it doesn't have to be a perfect circle because it's all going to hang down a little bit crazy. And then you're going to place this on the top of your jar. So here, we remove this and put our new lid in here like this. Put our ring over the top and we've got a fancy little cover for our extra cherries. And then you can decorate the top if you want to with some felt and add some glitter pens like we did with the cherries here on this white piece of felt. And you've got a sweet little jar that goes along with your pie.